Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Brass Monkey X. Okay, guys. I know I don't have a substantial audience for these book reviews, but I really enjoy reading, and I've decided that I'm going to keep doing them. Uh, I, I'm only going to review books on YouTube that I find to be particularly interesting or noteworthy, but if you guys are interested... If you go and uh, check out my Instagram page, I'll put a link in the description below how to get there. Um, you can see all the books that I read and all kinds of other cool stuff that I don't feel like making videos of. But um, but I digress, guys. Why we're here today is um, we're going to be taking a look here and I'm going to introduce you guys to the Survivalist series by Angry American. Now, obviously, that's a pen name. Um, these books are written by a guy named Chris Weatherman. Now, this dude, if you don't know who he is, he he got into prepping and survival like 30 years ago. Um, he's been on the TV series alone. I've seen some interviews and stuff that he's done, and he seems like a really solid guy. Like, he knows what he's talking about when it comes to prepping. And he's found a way to share his knowledge of prepping and survival while also telling a really vivid and compelling story. So, there's 11 books so far in this series. I started them a few years ago, and I'm actually, I'm all caught up now. I just finished reading the last book, that Engineering Home, and I'm actually, I'm really excited for the next book to come out. Every one of these ends on a cliffhanger, and it leaves you craving more. So... I'm just going to give you guys a brief overview and I'll try not to, I'll try to do it without giving you guys any spoilers. There's just, there's so much I could talk about and I don't want to give anything away if you guys are going to read the books. So the series, it, it takes place in Florida and the, the, the story, it centers around the, the main protagonist. His name is Morgan and he's basically heading out of town for business when everyone's vehicles just stop working and all of the power goes out. So in book number one, titled Going Home, over here, it's all about Morgan getting back home to his family. And they're, they're more than 200 miles away. So obviously Morgan makes it back home. That's not much of a spoiler there. But this, this entire series, it's, it basically follows Morgan, his family, and his friends... As they attempt to figure out how to not only survive, but to, to thrive in a world where shit has officially hit the fan. As you guys can see, the title of each book here, it outlines the theme of what's going on in each book. Uh, and it does it in a not very subtle way, obviously. Like, going home, obviously something happens, a man's trying to get home. Uh, escaping home, they're escaping home for some reason. You'd have to read the book to find out. Again, resurrecting home. They're obviously going to be rebuilding things. Enforcing home. Home invasion. It very clearly lays out what's going to happen in each one of these books. The story is, it's a very well-written story. And you can actually, you, you feel like you actually know the characters almost. Like, like, like you're right there with them. It, it makes you think like, shit man what what would i do in this situation like how would i have solved these problems the the scenarios presented in the series are all things that preppers like myself and i'm sure you guys out there you you sit around you've run through similar things in your minds while you're daydreaming at work and stuff it's i mean the, the series really gets you in a prepper mindset and it gets you to think outside of the box like I actually started to find myself brainstorming solutions to the problems that that are being presented in the books. Like the entire story, it, it it's it's almost like a survival manual for social collapse that Chris Weatherman cleverly disguises as a story. Now, with all that being said, although I do love this series, guys, I do have some nitpicking to do here. And when I say nitpicking, I really mean nitpicking. Like, number one, the first book, it starts to bother me a little bit that every time Morgan used a tool 
or went into his get home bag. The the author felt the need to name brand everything. Like I get it, man. We we all love gear, but every time he refers to Morgan's multi tool, it's not just a multi tool. It's his Leatherman model, whatever the fuck. And I, I, I know I'm complaining about nonsense here. It's not that big a deal. But it started to feel like that scene from Wayne's World with the product placement. But, I mean, and don't worry, guys. If you're going to read this, that doesn't last. After the first book, that stuff stops. He stops name branding everything. Which, it got, like I said, it got a little bit annoying. But it, it, it's just a nitpick. It's not that big a deal. Um... Now, issue number two that I had with this whole series is, th this one is actually a real complaint. Now, there is an abundance of editorial mistakes. And I know it's not Weatherman's fault. I blame whoever the editor is. Okay? It, and it's, it, it's in every book. You can find errors in almost every single chapter in these books. Most of the time, it's barely noticeable. But... Like, they'll leave out a connecting word or, or something. And, like, your your brain almost fills in the correction for you while you're reading it. And you stop for a second and you're like, wait, what? And it, it's like you have a brain fart. But you go back and read the sentence again and realize that it was a, it was a mistake in the printing. It wasn't you. So, I mean, the, the editing, it, it could use some serious work. But don't let that distract you from the story. It, it, it's a wonderful story, guys. And my, my last nitpick that I have here is, it isn't really a nitpick, it's just that some of the scenarios that this group gets into, and some of the ways that certain things are handled, are just a bit, let's just say, far-fetched. Like, they get into some fantastic situations that would most likely never happen in real life. But in defense of the series, it is a fantasy about societal collapse and as long as you realize that you are reading a fantasy it's not really that big a deal it takes a fantasy situation and it, it puts it into such vivid and practical terms that it just it, it makes you it makes it so damn plausible and like i said you can you can literally picture yourself in the story and you can picture yourself having to navigate the scenarios as if these things could actually happen in real life. So to sum it all up here, guys, if, if you are a prepper, if you are a survivalist, if you're just into apocalyptic type stories, I, I could not recommend a better series, guys. My one thing is, though, I do, however, I recommend purchasing all 11 books in one shot. Because after you finish reading the first one, you're not going to want to wait for the second one. You're not going to want to order it on Amazon. You're not going to want to wait a couple of days. Do yourselves the favor and just buy all 11 at one time and read all of them. Even if it takes you a month to do it, two months, whatever, make sure you have all of them on hand. Because once you finish one, every one of them leaves you with a cliffhanger that you do not want to wait to start reading the next one. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Again, I know you guys aren't really into the book reviews, but this is something I really enjoy and I really want to do. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and we will catch you next time.